welcome to episode 8 of strength and conditioning exercises specific to cross country skiing. We are filming today from the beautiful Tartra Beach. Jane's going to be working on the first of a series of gluteus medius exercises today. The gluteus medius muscle helps us control the hip and helps us to align the leg. Our first basic exercise, we're non-weight bearing, Jane's lying on her side in a semi-flex position. She's going to switch on her core, tighten the pelvic floor, draw the tummy muscles in, and she's going to take the top leg and take it behind her slightly. Straightening out that leg, she's now going to squeeze the glutes, lifting the leg towards the sky. She's really thinking about tightening up in the buttock area. Again, the pelvic floor and tummy muscles are switched on nice and tight, holding the pelvis forward. We don't want to let the pelvis drop behind. She's holding for 10 seconds, and then she's lowering the leg down. This is our first basic exercise for the gluteus medius. We're trying to teach you how to engage that muscle. Again, repeating the exercise, Jane's taking the top leg back behind her, lowering it to the ground, switching on the core, squeezing the glutes, and lifting the leg towards the sky, just so the leg is parallel with the body, not taking it too high. Holding for a count of 10, if you're able to, some people might be quite weak in this area and unable to hold for that time. You need to work out what the time is for you that feels good, that you feel like you're contracting the muscles and that you also feel good after the exercise. As these muscle groups fatigue in the gluteus area, back of the hip, you can roll over and try the exercise on the other side. Keeping the core switched on, Jane. Squeezing the glute. Lowering the leg as it fatigues. For our second gluteus medius exercise, we've taken the exercise into weight bearing. Jane's gonna stand with one foot on the edge of a step. She's gonna hold her left foot over the edge of the step, keeping her pelvis nice and level She's going to switch on her core. She's then going to bend her ankle, knee and hip following the Tony Nose idea. Hopefully everybody's familiar with Tony Nose. Knee over toe, nose over toe. Jane's keeping everything in alignment, making sure that knee is going over that middle toe. She's looking straight ahead out to the beautiful horizon and she's working the hip here making sure she keeps that thigh tracking nice and straight without the knee going towards the big toe. Jane will now demonstrate a common mistake with this exercise. She's going to let her knee drift over the middle toe as she goes down. We can see the thigh goes inwards and here we're losing the control in the hip. This is a common mistake with skiing when we're putting all our weight onto one ski. She'll now correct that alignment again, making sure the knee tracks over the middle toes, the nose is moving forward over the toes as well. So she's bending in that hip and using her gluteus medius on the right to keep that hip tracking nicely. She's keeping the left side of the pelvis up, showing nice control. As you feel a little bit of fatigue, it might be in the glutes, it might be in the quadriceps, you can change leg. We're just demonstrating the exercise on one side today. Remembering that it's not a balance exercise and Jane is holding onto the rail to take balance out of the equation here. Our next exercise progression for the gluteus medius muscle is going to involve a step up. This exercise is a little bit different from the dips in that Jane is gonna add some forward momentum and she's going to commit completely to one step. 
she's going to pop her foot up onto the step and she's going to be stepping forward using some forward momentum still following the Tony nose idea Tony nose trying to get them all in alignment again she's working on keeping the pelvis nice and level as her pelvis moves forward she's squeezing the glutes trying to keep that forward momentum rather than letting the hip drop out to the side she's straightening the knee nice and softly trying not to snap the knee back the core is switched on, remembering pelvic floor, deep tummy muscles. Looking ahead, Jane's holding onto a rail. It's not a balance exercise. We're really trying to work the hip, gluteus medius in particular, but we are getting glute max, quadriceps, hamstrings, calf working as well. Now you can make this exercise a lot harder by increasing the step height. But remember, don't compromise your technique in trying to do too high a step. Again, the exercise could be made harder by holding on to weights, so we're putting a lot more load through this muscle group. Or we could also change the exercise by adding more speed. As the leg tires, remember to switch sides. Depending on your level of progression will determine your repetitions that you're doing. If you were holding 10 kilos with this exercise, you would only want to do a few repetitions of the exercise. You would find you would fatigue much quicker than having no weights. Remember, we are after control. Good technique. Remembering that performance equals fitness minus fatigue. Take that into consideration when you're doing your exercises.